A huge welcome to the Delphont Macintosh Theatre's podcast, giving you behind-the-scenes access to the West End's biggest names. In this episode, ahead of its opening on March 6th, I'm very excited to be introducing the one and only Sheridan Smith, talking about the production of Opening Night, which you're going to be in, Sheridan, at the Gilgood Theatre. Yes, um, thank you for having us at the Delphine Theatre, <laughs> but the Gilgood. <laughs> the Gil- feel good at the Gilgood. <laughs> feel good at the Gilgood. That's such a great, I mean, that theatre is so beautiful. Yeah. And perfect for this show because there's you know the sight lines and it's just oh it's just fantastic. So thank you. <laughs> well, I have to say that I hopefully in a professional manner did some Google research and I'm afraid there was only forty one million four hundred thousand results. So I'm not sure there's that much <laughs> we can talk about. <laughs> Extraordinary. Oh, really? <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, but, but let's concentrate on opening night and Okay. <laughs> you, you said in the press release the chance to work with the musical genius of Rufus Wainwright and the, one of the world's greatest stage directors, Ivo Van Hove, was a once in a lifetime. And you've been cast in this fantastic original musical to play the complex and challenging character of Myrtle. I have. Challenging, complex. <laughs> it is, it's challenging and complex because it's about an actress doing a play. So it's a play within a play. And she has a bit of a crisis and, and can't figure her way through it. So it was something I kind of connected with. And obviously, like you said, Evo van Hove and Rufus Wainwright at the helm are like titans. So I'm like, you know, to be part of this brand new musical. They're so, I mean, they're geniuses, the way they're making it work. And to be in the room watching it all come together with an amazing cast of, of singers and actors and it's just, it's an honour and a joy, so I'm loving it. <laughs> I did actually come to the first day of the rehearsals, that huge circle of people. Yeah. And it's just, I mean, it seemed to me, if I were you, I'd be a wee bit overwhelmed by this because of the huge number of people that are involved. I've never been to a meet and greet with that many people before. No, I was so like, oh my goodness, there's a lot, lot, lot of people here and there's a lot writing on this, uh, no pressure. <laughs> no um, pressure, no pressure. <laughs> but it was lovely to see everyone before we started. And then, yeah. I mean, how did the role come about? Did somebody just ring you? Did you think it? Did you hear about it? How, how did it come about? Well, it came about where Wessex Grove got in touch. The with, producers, yep. we, yeah. Yeah, Wessex Grove, the lovely producers that we have, um, got in touch with my agent and I read the script and I was like, wow, like this story is incredible and so close to my own life. But I was a bit nervous about doing a musical again. and But I was tidying up my a spare room and there was all these like DVDs. You know when BAFTAs like send you like lots of DVDs? But they were all like, like loads of them didn't have a DVD in it. And I was like, oh, and then there was opening night. And I'd never seen a film. And I watched it and uh, Gina Rowlands, my goodness, she's phenomenal in it. And I just thought, oh my God, I have to do it. But then I had to go and meet uh, Evo and Rufus and do like an audition uh, workshop thing with them. And yeah, they, they they let me do it. So I'm I'm very honoured to be working with such a huge team. And yeah, it's a lot, but I'm so excited. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. I know. I know. It's based on the John Cassavetes legendary film Opening Night, and and That's Gina right. was the star of that. Uh, and, yes. and as you say, she's extraordinary. But the piece uh, as it evolves, the character Myrtle's going to be on that stage for quite a long time. I mean, yeah. you know, in terms of performing every night, you've got an awful lot to do there. You know, how, how do you prepare for something like that? And how do you, when you finish, do you come down or do you just go home or do you have to go for a walk? Oh, tell us, tell us, tell us. I don't know. I mean, because we're still deep in rehearsals, it's you know, Evo's way of working is that he, you, you don't live in your angst. So you kind of do the scene for real, find all these emotions, and then you kind of shake it off. And I mean, I'm lucky I can go home for my son. As a lot of the cast, you can go back to their normal lives. But in rehearsals, you're doing it all day, finding the character. So you find all these different layers. But I think once it's set and then we're in the theatre, you just kind of, as a company, you go, right, come on, let's do this. And you go, leave it all on the stage. And I think what my ritual will probably be is just blasting some music on and shaking it all off and then going and getting in bed with my son and having a cuddle. So um, so I'm excited for that bit. I'm loving rehearsals, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's, no, no. it's you know, a lot going on. <laughs> 
And you mentioned, you know, there's a lot of other, the, the cast also has Hadley Fraser as Manny, Shira has as Nancy, oh. Nicola Hughes as Sarah, Amy Lennox as Dorothy, John Marquez as David Benjamin mm -hmm. Walker is playing Morris, Rebecca Thornhill as Kelly, Scylla, Sylvia, Carla, Ian McLaren and Leo, and Josh Slovak as Gus. It's quite a great yes. quite a cast. What a lineup! I mean, to be working with them, and that's another thing that Evo does. It's all about reacting to each other, and to be working with such amazing actors and performers that have been in the business for years. And it's, it's, you know, I'm learning so much from them, and and all the, the more cast as well, and and it just feels like a real company. I mean, in rehearsals, it's disjointed because. My character's so isolated all the time, but but this, we're all there to support each other and kind of do this together. So, I mean, yeah, what a lineup! I'm, I can't believe I've got all those great people to work with every day. And in terms of Rufus Wainwright's music, and and for him, this is a challenge because it's the first musical he's written, isn't it? Yes, yeah, and he, I mean, I went to see him at the Royal Albert Hall, and he's, I mean, the most amazing. His range. His range is insane. Like no one can sing like Rufus, <laughs> but he's and this is his first musical. So he's written these incredible songs that are tricky to learn for someone like me who doesn't read music or you know. So I've been trying to learn them from months ago to get them in my head. And I guess for him, you know, maybe having to bring keys down or things like that. And it's, it's a whole creative collaborative thing, you know. So. And Evo might not want a song there or, you know, but they've workshopped it before, before I came on board with the, in fact, a few, quite a few of the cast were in the workshops, which is great. So they, they kind of had an idea of what they were doing, but it's still happening in the room. So, but his music's incredible. I mean, he's, yeah, it's it, the, the two together, Evo and Rufus, it's like a, it's just like a match made in heaven. Titans, it? it's, yeah. It, titans, it has exactly that. It has that feel, it has that feel about titans. it. It's titans, yeah. Really, yeah. And I mean, yeah. Evo did previously. He did at the No Card, where you'd appeared in Midsummer Night's Dream. He did all about Eve, so he's yes. he's been there's a and there's a similarity in that too. Yeah, a similarity, but they're very different. I, I know that. But the play yeah. obviously it holds up a mirror to the the notion of women aging in the entertainment industry. And you know, in terms of that, what could be done to provide? For a better landscape for strong female roles, how do we how do we change that? How do, how do <laughs> I think? I mean, I think it is. There's some amazing, you know, big female uh, roles. I think the the character in the play within a play, yeah, she's finding it very difficult to play this part that's written about an aging woman, and she doesn't want to be typecast as that. Which I guess, in in a way, for me, it's like maybe I always play a certain like you know you start playing mums and then i think i played a nana in, in something already <laughs> so you, you're aware that your age is creeping up you know and so i kind of connect with that a bit but um but now i think there's some great roles out there now for women i really do and this is a gift so i'm very honored to be doing it and i think like you know like you said it's it is about theater and about actors and and but it's about everyone it's like everyone it's actually everyone yeah it, you know, it's everyone. It's everyone's under the spotlight all the time, and with social media and all, all that, you know, and it's set in modern day as well, which Evo's chosen, which I think is brilliant. And I don't know how much I can give away. No, um, no, but, no, it's just fine. <laughs> but it's it's just a genius we're working. But I really think the audiences, just because it's about actors, it's not alienating people. It's about everyone under scrutiny, and the way Evo does it with film and theatre. It's like a whole new experience for people. It's so different. To, you know, there's so many brilliant shows around, but you go and see a show and you don't see what happens behind the scenes. Whereas in this, you get to see the, the workings of everything backstage and the dressing rooms, you know. I, I, yeah. Yeah, it's what, what's exciting for people to see that side of it, you know. Yeah. Um, so I can't wait for people to see it. And, uh, yeah, I just think it's, it's, it's going to be incredible. I mean, I do think in one sense it is for everyone because I've got to that age where people stand up and give me a seat in the bus occasionally, <laughs> occasionally and I go, I started, at first it was like, how dare you? And then I think, oh, no, I'll, I'll take that, thank you. But it's an adjustment you've got to change, you know? It is, no, you're right. 
We've all got to go through that change. I mean, even being a mum, this is my first big, big show back on this level, you know, with, uh, well, I've never been in anything quite this big, but but, but now being a mum, you know, and trying to navigate that and childcare and, uh, you know, it's like, so it is, like you say, everyone can relate to having to be working and mum and they've got their outside life and their work and you have to put on faces for different things. It's, it's It relates to everyone, you know, so it I really... It relates to everyone. And, and yeah. It- just in terms of you, you mentioned uh, you've done stuff before. You got an Olivier Award for Elle Woods in Legally Blonde, and Olivier wow. Award for Flare Path, which I saw and I couldn't believe how how amazing a, a, your performance was, and it was so oh, well deserved. You. It really thank was. You so much. But the whole thing was about Sienna Miller, I, I, and I don't mean that against Sienna, but everybody was yeah. focused on that, and then you quietly came in and. You know, you just commanded this. It was it was an amazing performance. So wow, you've obviously you got so lots of experience in dealing with things at that level. And is, are you channeling any of Elle Woods into this, do you think? <laughs> I don't think there's any Elle Woods in this. Um, it's kind of the complete opposite. <laughs> um, but I, I, I loved doing Flare Path, you know. I loved that. I loved doing Legally Blonde. They're all so different, you know. And that's But so different, that's the thing. So different, and that's what I love about theatre and that you know you can you get to play all these amazing characters and yeah I mean it's it's very exciting but thank you I mean I loved Flair Pass particularly was one of my favourite jobs because it kind of just came in and out <laughs> no I wasn't on all the time um, so there's a bit, bit less pressure yeah but yeah but it, it's I think this show is like a love letter to theatre really you know and, and and what we we all do and and how because also the story, even though it goes dark and it has its twists and turns with this character, essentially at the end she performs and it's that buzz, that live buzz that you get, what you don't get when you're filming, you know? Yeah. And it's 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 addictive, you know? And and, and that and you kind of torture yourself all the way through l- leading up to opening night and then you go, oh, my gosh, this is why I do it. And that's what the show's about. So it's like, you know, life imitation art. <laughs> Indeed, and then, then of course, there's the confusion of opening night of opening night. That's going to be I a love that. one. <laughs> I know. Blessed. I love saying it. I know opening night of opening night. It's going to get so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Your TV work again. We, we don't have time to go into any of it, but particularly, but you, what you, Mrs. Biggs was an extraordinary character you created oh, and you. portrayed. But then you did Cilla Black. I mean, my God, the lovely Cilla Black. And the Aww. songs and the so we, we know your chops in terms of singing. You've got you've got it. So we're all really really looking forward to this. But it's very exciting. Is all I can say. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. I'm, I can't wait. We've got just two minutes on a quick fire kind of yes or no, up and down. What do you think? Okay. So I'll, I'll just ask quickly. Just respond. Just so you know, I'm rubbish at quick fire, but I'll give it my best shot. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Night in or a night out? Night in. Slippers or heels? Slippers. <laughs> country life or city life? Ah, oh, see, I went to the country and then I missed the city. Um, city life, I think. I think. Oh, good. Yes, see, I'm rubbish at this. No, <laughs> you're not. That's it's, that, that's you see because I thought you'd have said country, so there you see that's why it's quite good. It's well, I not- do. I tell you what, though, I do miss home, so uh, <laughs> that's not quick fire. But anyway, but. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, sand or snow? Sand. Sand. Oh, beach person. I bet, yeah. <laughs> we could go on and on, but I, I have to bring it to a close because um, I know you've got so much on, and I just want to say thank you so much. Opening night at the Gilgood Theatre runs from the 6th of March to the 27th of July, 2024. If you haven't already, and many people have, go to www.delfortmacintosh.co.uk to get your tickets for this strictly limited season and, of course, all our other shows. But a big thank you to you, Sheridan. Thank you so Thank much. you. It's so lovely to see you, and thank you for having us at the Gilgood. Come on. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Come buy tickets. <laughs> Thanks. Lots of love. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs>